Yes, let's go. This is Nelly Larson. Welcome. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is what I think is the best class setup for the map Skyjacked on Black Ops 3. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're actually playing Demolition like I am actually playing on here, here now. You can be playing Domination, Kill Confirm, Team Deathmatch, you name it. I have tried it on all and it seems to excel extremely well. Now, obviously, I've played it before when it used to be hijacked on Black Ops 2, this particular map. But it does play completely different. It's not quite the same. It is a lot larger. So, for me personally, I definitely opt out and go for the VMP. Now, a lot of people love the old Vespa once it's in close quarters and it is an absolute melting machine but there are quite a, long, a lot of long sites a lot of open areas on this particular map even when you're out looking out across the deck and that and with the way that the Vespa's actually been nerfed I mean there's quite a bit of recoil and you just could be running through those bullets at a considerable rate so for me personally the VMP is definitely the better way to go now with the SMG now with that in regards to the attachments that I'm running with is obviously stock to be a lot more mobile in those close quarter situations to be able to strafe Grip to help control that recoil when we're looking out windows or anything else, looking down long lines of sight to help actually compete against other people that might be running ARs or something like that. And then also we've got Quick Draw just to get that weapon up as fast as we possibly can. And for me, that works extremely well. Now, the actual perks that we're going to be running with. Now, I'm going with Ghost. Now, with Ghost, because I'm playing aggressive, because I'm being highly mobile, I don't really have to worry about the UAVs too much. 90% of the time, I'm going to be keeping off the map, so I'm not that particularly bothered. Now, the reason that I don't like to stick a suppressor on on this particular map and use it with Ghost is for the sole reason that once you stick a suppressor on, it doesn't matter where you shoot shooting, the small locations on this are pretty, you know, they're pretty crazy, depending on where your teammates are pushing. I mean, at the end of the day, you can shoot someone, they could get spawned straight down there at the bottom, and they're straight back on you because they know exactly where you are. So, I don't think that the suppressor is really going to benefit you too much, because if you're going to be on the move quite a lot like me, you're not going to have to worry about it. You can just keep dropping in from corner to corner, and they're not really going to be knowing where you are anyway. Now, then, oh, sorry, for perk two on tier two, what we're going to be having is fast hands obviously then just to help compete that's going to complement the old quick draw and then we're going to be running with dead silence and awareness now i do appreciate that awareness has been nerfed a little bit but what i will say that once you stick this together with dead silence is probably the best way to go because i mean even though awareness has been nerfed just that little bit once you've got dead silence you're on the move you won't hear your footsteps and because you're in such close quarters a lot of the time you will still be able to hear people creeping up around you so that is for me definitely the best way to go but this is just my little guys and tip or the best class setup for actually be using on skyjack if you start running with this honestly guys it will not let you down whatsoever but i will leave a little picture just coming up on your screen now for you guys just to double check and but coming up on my screen after that is going to be my subscription button make sure you're jumping on that and guys if you could drop a like on this video and support my channel it'd be even better this is nearly last enough catch you later